Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to your NBA playoff game highlight commentary in a quartet, a tetralogy, and the coronation of the past four seasons as your Golden State Warriors take on your Cleveland LeBrons in game one of the 2018 NBA Finals. Walking into the building, LeBron James is wearing a suit that was tailor-made for Isaiah Thomas. Why is it cut off at the knees with mismatched socks and a purse? Coming to the court representing Cleveland starting at Point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, and center, LeBron James. And here would come the Space Jam Warriors as Steph Curry would connect on a three, but the King would respond with a three-point of his own. But Steph says, it's my house. Only I get to make it rain in here. J.R. Smith says, whatever, I do what I want for three. But the PBS logo in the face, Clay, my head kind of looks like SpongeBob's house, Thompson, would proceed to get hurt as J.R. Smith graduates from Leg Sweep University with a degree in Grayson Allen Studies as he slides right into the knee of Clay Thompson and takes him out. However, for Cleveland, Kevin Romance would begin to get going on back-to-back -back possessions. He would find himself scoring in the paint. I'm not gonna play like no bum this series. Then LeBron would say, none of you rapscallion peasants can guard me. I'm from the East. No man with the last name West can guard me. He can't guard me. My game too cold. Watch him do the finger roll. George Hill would connect on a three, but the PBS logo in the face, Clay Thompson checks back in. He hits a three. Kevin unbrushed hair Durant would connect on a three. Then Steph Curry would find Draymond Green inside the paint for the score. The basketball flees the bodies of Tristan Thompson and Kevin Durant due to the lack of loyalty. But Durant would get the ball back and slam it home. And just before halftime, Curry would take a deep three and unlike a Fergie national anthem, it's good. And just look at it go into the basket. Ayo. Hey, One, two, three. Suck my dick. In the second half, Steph Curry would find bum-ass JaVale McGee for the open dunk, but he got rim blocked. The man got blocked faster than a cock at a lesbian day parade. One quick look at Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> then LeBron James would come down to court and put in his application to join the Splash Brothers as he would connect on three consecutive threes. But Steph Curry and Klay Thompson would say, your application is rejected. Colorism over here, motherfucker. Light skin only. Then in the fourth quarter, facing a deficit, here comes the LeBrons as he slams it home. Jeff Green would connect on a three. Kyle Korver would connect on another three. Then LeBron would put a little bit of English on the basketball to take the lead. But then Draymond, I shoot like I'm wearing a book bag green would connect on a three. Then Curry would connect on another three to give the Warriors a six-point lead, but LeBron refuses to die. He's got more lives than Mario, as he would charge to the paint and cut the deficit to two. Then Kevin Romance would connect on a three. Down by one, LeBron would tell Curry, what's my favorite mixtape tour? And one! Get out of my face, Looney! The only tunes you hearing is this and one mixtape! With less than a minute to go, zero loyalty Kevin, I don't own a do-rag, Durant would charge to the paint and get called for a charging foul as LeBron would move in and take the charge but wait a minute the referees are deliberating after further review we're gonna have to switch the call it's gonna be a blocking foul they're gonna shoot two free throws you can't do that yes I can I got the phone call from my supervisor what supervisor I don't know who it was he started working today they said his name was Tim Durant would knock down both free throws but the king would give the Cavs a two-point lead but Steph Curry would respond and say I too listen to the N one mixtape following the Steph Curry free throws the Warriors have a one-point lead with less than 12 seconds left to go, the ball is in the hand of LeBron James with the conclusion of game one in sight. But George Hill's gonna be fouled and sent to the free throw line. He knocks down the first free throw to tie it up at 107-107. But he misses the second. It's rebounded by J.R. Smith. But wait, he's caught in a Genjutsu. He thinks they have the lead. He dribbles out the clock, gets it to George Hill. He's blocked by Draymond Green. What the hell, J.R.? Give me the ball. What are you doing, dummy? Woo, woo, dick it alert dickhead alert woo woo dickhead alert dickhead alert woo 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 J.R. Smith has got to be the dumbest basketball player in the history of the game this man was looking for Kyrie Irving he was looking for Bruce Jenner he was looking for Osama Bin Laden he was looking for Drake's son he didn't give the ball to LeBron James when he's the only player who matters on the bum ass team rumor on the street is he had a lobotomy operation between the time he caught the rebound and passed the ball to George Hill he caught the rebound
down and started running towards the nearest liquor store because he thought they had the lead and he believed anything was possible. I need whatever this man was drinking. I need whatever weed this man was smoking. Why did you wish for Henny? Because I thought we had the lead. Even Looney of the Golden State Warriors is looking at J.R. Smith like what the hell is wrong with him? What was in this man's Gatorade cup? Check his blood for his THC levels. Give him a breathalyzer in the locker room. This man thought he was playing street basketball, playing for the Warriors and had to clear the ball. He fell asleep at the wheel. His batteries fell out of his Game Boy Color. If he was a member of the Avengers, his name would be Star-Lord. And this ain't even the first time he showcased his education from Dickhead University. He wanted to dap up Jason Terry and gave up an easy basket. He spent time untying shoes like a peasant on the street. J.R. Smith, put your motherfucking head back down, dummy. Tell me I did not just see that. The game would be sent into overtime where the Golden State Warriors would take out their balls and rub their nutsack all over the Cleveland Cavaliers throughout the entire period. Draymond Green would connect on a three and he would tell bum-ass Coach Perkins, stay on the sideline with your pom-poms. You got picked up just to wear a suit. Dummy! With less than a minute to go, Curry wants to pour vinegar in the wound, but the king says get that shit out of here. Why you gotta be all disrespectful? Man, I'm just trying to have fun. Suck my dick. J.R. Smith would connect on a three, but did it help the Cavaliers come back and win? Absolutely not! Sean Livingston would be fouled on the play by Tristan Thompson and the referee throws Thompson out the game. He has zero tolerance for men who cheat on their pregnant girlfriends. Yeah, get your bum ass out of here, Tristan. Hey, watch your mouth, Draymond. Hey, it's not my fault your girl took more black men than sickle cell. Hey, don't talk about Chloe like that. And a brouhaha has broken out between the Golden State Warriors and the Cleveland LeBrons. Tristan Thompson says, hey, I'll take all five of you outside. Come see me. Whoa, wait, you said you want to take five guys. You sound like a Kardashian. The Warriors would dribble out the clock and LeBron would walk off the court. Court, scoring 51 points and you still have to hold this L as the Warriors would win the game 124-114 for the Cleveland LeBrons take out your Metro cards and get aboard the L train you blew it! LeBron's on Google trying to find a way to trade J.R. Smith to the Shadow Realm. George Hill sneaking out the arena like nobody gonna blame him for missing free throws. And LeBron asking himself, why, Lord? Why must you give me a team that ain't shit? <laughs> Oh, what's on?